gorgeous Piscean beauties, you. This is your reading for the month of September 2022. And... Let's just see what comes because I'm going to channel spirit and I've sat here for a second and just tuned into your energy at the moment and I feel a little bit, uh, a little bit all over the place to be honest. There's been a little bit of, um, oh, the word is scattered I believe, I believe. So let's see how that is going to um, change and transcend in the month of September 2022. All right, first card we get is do the work. So I think there's some grounding needed here. Um, spiritual growth, gosh, always some spiritual growth, isn't there? And mother, father, God. Okay, so our little fishies of the zodiac. Let's see what this means. Now, I really encourage any, um, you know, uh, comments below and likes, shares, subscribe, all those things. Now, know that this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you. But let's dive in and see what is actually coming through when I tune in a, a little bit more. Now, Oh, look, I know that there's been quite a spiritual journey for you, um, but I, I certainly feel there's a bit of work to be done personally, okay? You've done plenty of work on other people, so to speak. And the thing is, it's their journey, and it, it's almost like you need to take a good step back and really disconnect yourself emotionally from the loved ones around you, thinking that what they're going through might be a reflection of you. Now... Um, you know, I know that most, that all of you are empaths, so you're going to feel other people's things, and and that can be a bit um, concerning at times because you don't know where you begin, they finish, and vice versa. So it's a real beautiful time in the month of September to really take in what's going on around you, but don't absorb it so take it in but don't absorb it okay because um it, it's time that you really put on some protective gear it's almost like i want to put a beautiful armor um suit on you in this month because there's a lot of external things that can trigger you there's a lot of things that will happen around you that you want to make your problem but here's the here's the tip it's not your problem how's that <laughs> And all you can do is keep working on yourself, keeping yourself that beautiful um, spiritual being doing this human existence, but allow yourself to be there, to hold space for others, but don't take their shit with you. That's a very big warning, especially for the month of September. Um, I don't like the word warning, to be honest. It's, it's a word of advice. How's that? Spirit's giving me that word of advice. So... Um, I, I see plenty of grounding is necessary, plenty of grounding. And I said this in someone else's reading, I can't remember whose, but I want you to take the time every day, second day, third day the most to lie down on some grass, lie down on some earth, on some on some beautiful tan bark. I don't care what it is, but make sure it's come from Mother Nature. Um, and lie there and allow your energy that's heavy to be absorbed by the earth beneath you okay because there needs to be this real big cleansing time over the next few weeks for you especially purely because you're carrying a lot of other stuff whether or not you're um you know been helping people you love whether you've been watching tv shows and taking on their stuff like you're experiencing it for yourself um whether your children are going through things and you're you're really beating yourself up like there's a lot of areas that we can go through where we're just taking on other people's things like we're living their lives and we're not and we're just not being able to separate ourselves from that and that's what I'm really getting out of this reading um I don't know about you but when I watch tv shows I can think about like them for a long time like it's someone I love or like you know it's something I'm going through and I need to separate myself from that so I know that's what's coming through here for you also and it is work it is work when you sit back and have to look at yourself and have to go okay you know what maybe I am a bit heavy maybe I am vibing a little low maybe I am taking on the world as if it's my problem and the thing is you know 
that you will never go through anything that's that um, you're not meant to. You know that, you know, whatever's meant for you will never pass you by. You know all these things. And I can hear you saying all the right stuff. It's just the actions aren't as um, in line with what you're saying. And in September, that's all going to change. You're going to just take that time. You're going to nourish yourself. You're going to separate yourself emotionally and spiritually from things that are no longer... Um, well, they never were, but, you know, that aren't your responsibility. Okay, so that's a beautiful time. And when you do this work, you have no choice but to elevate again, you know. You're constantly working through this lifetime. It's like you're, you've got all these, you're a cat of nine lives, you know. It's like you're just going moving forward and forward and forward and growing spiritually each experience each conversation each interaction each thought and that's going to just pivot you into this next frequency for that spiritual growth but that's the intention okay set the intentions be clear be definite with the infinite we want to be very clear and i share this story with a lot of my clients is you know you might want to attract a partner in your life and, and let's just say for example you just say i want a a man or a woman or whatever it may be and just like for example let's just say I want a man that is going to love me for who I am and support me with my decisions in life and that's all you say right but then this man shows up he's amazing he is everything that you think you asked for but he also comes in with maybe some financial issues um uh, a court case hanging over his head um he he lives with his parents and all these things that might not be in your um list of things you you know you you actually want an independent man who's emotionally available and who has space in your life for you and and all these things and vice versa that can be for a woman as well it's not gender specific it's just an example so be very specific with what you want to attract and put your order into the universe and let it be don't change your order along the way because you don't sit in a coffee shop asking for a coffee and sitting there waiting for um you know and asking can i have a coffee can i have a coffee can have a coffee you just sit and wait right and that's what has to happen here but you need to be very definite with the infinite and ask specifically for what you want and be clear okay now with and here mother father god it's it's all about the universe it's all about bringing in the elements okay it's really doing the work back here and bringing in mother gaia and in that you'll be able to be clear and and be it's almost like a rebirth there's a there's a rebirth going on for you in the new season as well coming into september um and when you call in the elements you're going to be able to feel whole again because it feels like you've been like scattered in that first energy you're, you're spreading yourself thin okay work rest and play it's, it's it's thin so when you put call in the elements you're going to be able to feel whole again and nourished okay all right, what deck am I being called to now? This one. Yep. All right. Let's get a bit more information on that. You know, nothing's wrong with you, Pisces. It's like you're trying to, um, you've got this habit of thinking, oh, did I say something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Is something wrong with me? Am I unwell? Have I got this? Have I got that? I can feel that. And I feel like that's subsiding now as you're elevating as well. So it's getting less and less. So you actually are doing the work. You're doing well, actually. Um, and you get the Empress, time to take action, be, give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful, abundance and prosperity. So this is just to confirm everything that those cards were, were giving us. It's, it's time for you to really, um, you know, clear up that energy of yours. Clear up that energy of yours, get clear with the universe and put it out there and, and keep moving forward. Now, it, it's an actual really big shift in this. It's almost like we, you change with the seasons and we're coming into spring in the southern hemisphere and I think it's winter perhaps in the northern hemisphere. Um, but in the change of seasons, you change as well. And so let, allow that to happen. Allow yourself to become with uh, one with nature and, and really feel that shift. It's really um, a beautiful time. So I'm just going to finish with a nice word, a nice card of... Um, no, and nice affirmations, I think these, these are called. And oh, I've got two, so let's have two. All right, you may be feeling restless and dissatisfied, but many things are possible now. Be ready for the adventure and pursue your vision. Oh gosh, I love that. 
and you are about to meet someone who is faithful and loyal. Through them, you will learn how to develop these qualities more fully within yourself. Recognize the strength and tireless energy that you possess. And these are massive shifts from the energy coming into September and going out of September. And just to finish off, I'm just going to pull a little trinket for a last little message from Spirit. And it is this. It's a beautiful little star. It's almost like a starfish. I don't know if you can see that clear enough. And the thing is, you are the star, Pisces. You are the star. You're the light that shines in the darkness. And sometimes it gets really, really dark because you are very um, emotional. You are, you know, um, as deep as the ocean, as some would say. So in the darkness, remember, you are the light. So let yourself shine. And that is your message for the month of September 2022. And please take what resonates and like, share, subscribe and all those beautiful algorithm things. And please comment below. I'd love to hear how you're going and how that fits for you. Take a beautiful um t take a beautiful time for yourself you know really connect with nature and, and make this month yours where you shift and really start taking back your energy and that is your message and thank you for tuning in take care be kind to others but beautiful pisces always be kind to yourself peace out